Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Drive Mod. My name's Anthony. We're gonna be doing a simple uh, repair on the Fusion today. We're gonna be replacing the battery, but this video is not about showing you how to replace the battery, though we are gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna be demoing a product for you instead while we replace this battery. Now, if you saw the last video, we had to jumpstart the Fusion. I was gone for a month. Battery was completely shot. Uh, the anti-gravity uh, XP20HT was able to get it cranked up and started no problem. So we went ahead and ordered a battery but we are switching out the stock lead acid battery in favor of a lithium battery unit from anti-gravity batteries now this battery weighs in at just over 11 pounds the stock battery is 30 plus this is the h6 battery you have to look up the battery series based on your make and model and application some of the specs and features of this battery like I said, it's a Group H648 battery. It's got 40 amp hours of capacity, up to 1500 cold cranking amps. The stock battery is about 700. Obviously being lithium, it's maintenance free. You don't have to worry about tipping it over, spilling it, but by far and away the coolest feature of this battery, it has a built-in battery management system. And what that does for you, it's gonna completely shut the battery off from the car if it doesn't need charged or it's being overcharged, but also that allows the battery to disconnect from the car in a situation where there's a draw, and that's gonna allow you to use the feature, the built-in jump start feature of this battery to be able to restart the car without exterior jumper cables needed, exterior jumper needed, nothing. It's all built into the battery itself, and you, all you have to do is push the button on top of the battery, or they supply you with two key fobs that allow you to activate the built-in jump starting feature. So this is the anti-gravity batteries, intelligent lithium ion battery, restart. Now before we delve into this battery replacement on the Fusion, I did want to go over a couple of announcements that I have. The first one is the GT350. It's been gone for a month now. It's getting repainted. If you didn't know, we're going to be doing a live reveal of the car where I see it for the very first time come August. So definitely hit the notification bell so you don't miss that upload, that live stream where we're gonna reveal the car and I'm gonna see it for the first time. Second, the channel t-shirts are for sale. I'm gonna include a link for these in the description below as well. Right now we've got white and black. If you can't make it to the reveal, definitely tune into the live stream. It's gonna be epic. Now why would you wanna replace your OEM lead acid battery for a lithium battery unit? As we already mentioned, the weight savings, but also the longevity of the battery. This battery has lasted me about four years the lithium ion battery from anti-gravity batteries is estimated lifespan is eight to 10 years. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. All you're gonna need is a socket, socket wrench, an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket, maybe an extension. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. But we just, we just wanna get this hooked up and show you guys. I will leave a promo code in the description below. That's promo code TDM10 and you'll save 10% off your order from anti-gravity batteries. That's anything on the website, no matter the battery group they've got. Now that promo code not only works for all their batteries, but it also works for all their XP microstarts, their power stations, their solar panels, their deep cycle batteries, and all their battery maintainers. Let's get on with this install. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is release the battery hold down bolt. There's an eight millimeter down here at the bottom of the battery tray. And it just bolts down a bracket that basically holds down on the bottom lip. Once you get that out, go ahead and remove it. And that is now gonna allow you to slide the battery forward so you can access the negative side of the battery as well as the positive side. So now we've got our 10 millimeter socket. Just go ahead and break the terminals loose. Oh, a little bit of corrosion, we'll have to clean that off. Just go ahead and work your terminal free. Set that down out of the way. And lift the battery up. Now you see them side by side, this battery from anti it's it's a little bit bigger, but it'll still fit nicely inside that tray. Let's get this thing installed. Make sure you watch the orientation on the post. Positive side is gonna be towards the front of the vehicle. Again, the negative is gonna be underneath the windshield cowl. Oh geez, so light, so light. Now, one other thing I thought about while um, scraping the corrosion off the uh, terminals is with a lithium battery, you're not gonna have that problem because again, 
It's a lithium battery, so it doesn't have any liquid inside the battery, so therefore there's nothing to leak out or gas or anything like that. So just one other issue, if you know Fords, they're, they're notorious for corroding on the battery terminals. Uh, but now we're no longer gonna have to worry about that. And the last bit I'll mention is on these lithium batteries is how long you can go between starting them. The length of time that you can go on a lithium battery versus a regular lead acid battery or an even AGM battery, a lithium battery mops the floor with them. So if you're going away for a long time, the car sits for a while, if it's a show car, um, anything like that, that's just another benefit to having this battery over your regular lead acid battery. So now we'll just one handed, it's all you need. Slide it into the uh, the tray. Now, being this battery is slightly longer than the uh, the stock battery, you're not gonna be able to slide the slide it forward enough to put the negative terminal on. So you will need a 10 millimeter wrench to secure that terminal. Be careful not to uh, you know switch the posts or anything like that. Make sure you're. Make sure you're hooking up positive to positive and negative to negative. Tighten the negative one down first. Doesn't need to be super tight, but you definitely don't want it. Check that. Now slide it all the way back. Tighten that side down. And put our battery terminal cover on. Now we just gotta install our hold down bracket. It should line up with the uh, second to last option if you have the battery slid far enough back. And we're done. Now one thing to note with the Lithium batteries, now you, you no longer have a lead acid battery, which means you no longer can use any sort of lead acid battery trickle chargers or anything like that. You have to get a lithium specific trickle charger or battery maintainer if you are gonna connect one of those to this battery. The way a, a lead acid or an AGM battery charges is a lot different than a lithium battery and you will overheat this thing and damage it. Once you do get the battery installed, go ahead and double check your work. Make sure all your connections are nice and tight. Everything's back where it was supposed to be and attempt to start the vehicle. Let it run for a second, make sure you don't have any charging malfunctions or anything like that. And yeah guys, that's all there is to it. Back on the road, this car shouldn't need a battery for another eight to 10 years. And definitely gonna have the peace of mind of it starting every time. And if down the road it doesn't start, you've got that built-in jump start feature built into the battery. Thanks for watching this how-to video on the Ford Fusion today. Again, check out the links below for product descriptions and discount codes for anti-gravity and their products. The Fusion is now anti-gravity powered. Why aren't you?